Hey everyone, it's Sniping here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get your league models in such a way like this to make the graphic I've been using uh, pretty often lately. It's gonna look a little bit like this. The first thing that you're going to have to do is go to a website called Teemo.gg. Once you go to Teemo.gg, you can look at this tab here, 3D models. And once you're here, just go to this tab here, get the champ that you want recording off. Let's do it here with Spirit Guard. Once it's loaded, there is a list of animations that you can choose from. So let's say I want the dance loop. I'm going to load that, and there you go. And you can move this around with your left and right mouse button. So what I usually do, I go into full screen, I record my screen for 10, 15 seconds, maybe even longer if I have to, and then I use that recording and edit it. Once I have the recording that I'm satisfied with, I put it in my editing software. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do this in all three editing programs that I'm used to. I'm gonna start off with Vegas Pro. For Vegas Pro, it's pretty simple. Go to your video effects, look up Chroma Keyer and drag that onto there. I have a preset already. Uh, if not, just use the default. So I do wanna thank D Blackjack for you know giving me his settings. It really worked out well for me and uh, you should definitely check his videos out because he is an amazing lead content creator. All right, so once you have this window up, first thing you wanna do is turn it off. And you're gonna take a sample of this darker blue part right here. Once that is done, you can turn it on, but this will usually be set to different values, like this. And it's gonna look awful. By adding these two values, it should normally look a little bit like this. One thing to note, the champion that you want to key out has colors similar to this kind of blue. It might interfere with each other, so I usually try to avoid having those colors in my champions. So yeah, these are the settings for Vegas Pro. Make a preset of it, save it. The way you do that is just putting your name here. Once you have a name selected, press the save button. Next up, I'll be showing After Effects. You want to make a composition first, so what you do is you drag your footage and hold it over here and then drop it. That'll make an automatic composition with the right FPS and resolution settings. Next up, go to your effects and presets and look for a setting called Key Light 1.2. You can drop that over to your footage. Once you've applied the Key Light effect, same thing as Vegas, you're gonna take this tool, get this darker blue part, and it's gonna look a little bit like that. So you have some despill going on. These glasses are looking kinda, yeah, you can see that. So I'm gonna show you the settings that I use to avoid that. First thing I do, Screen balance all the way up to zero. This gets rid a lot of the despill that's going on. Green glow that you have right here. You go into screen matte, put the clip black onto 15, clip white onto 75, add a little bit of grow and softness to it, and that's it. You might have to play around with these settings because it's not gonna be perfect every time. So the way to really see if your mask is working out is by going into the screen matte right here and play around with these settings. Once that is done, get the background that you want it. Once that is done, your champion is now on a transparent background. All right, and lastly, I'll be showing Premiere Pro. So again, get your footage on your timeline right here. You're gonna look for an effect called Ultra Key. Drop it on there. And you'll be greeted with this big list of settings again, just like After Effects. And you're gonna use your drop tool again, same as we did before, and get the same color. And it'll do a pretty good job on its own. So for the ultra key, I only changed three settings. First thing I do is I change the transparency to 30. I soften that a little bit, not too much, just five. And the spill, I put that to zero. The default is set to 50 and it gives you this green glow. Put it all the way up, it's gonna be very green. You don't want that. And with that, you have another champion without any background, free to use anywhere. So if you want to have one of those room page graphics that I showed earlier. What you can do is get your elite client all the way to full screen, record your screen so you have these animations from the client as well. Of course you gotta turn them on. Once you have all your footage, you can put it all together and maybe add some text. What I usually do is add a little bit of a TV sort of effect as an adjustment layer. The way I do that, very simple, I just add a little bit of BCC lens blur and BCC scan lines. So yes, this requires the uh, Boris FX plugin set. You can also add a little bit of glow if you want to, but I usually keep it without the glow. So these are the settings that I use for the lens blur and these are the settings that I use for the scan lines. And these are the settings that I use if I add a glow to it. And when that is all done, it should look something like that. As for this text right here, uh, this is an effect from Universe called Holo Matrix. And it's just the default setting that I have right here. Nothing too special. 
Sometimes I'll change the colors around, but I leave it as it is. And yeah, that's how I usually get my champions without any backgrounds to use in a video. Obviously, this way it's not gonna look the greatest. To have the greatest result, you should obviously go into the lead client, get a replay, and use the Creator Suit Replay API to get the best kind of footage that you want. But it's gonna take a lot more effort. This way it's gonna be fast and look decent enough to present in a video. If you've got any more questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And uh, until next time, see ya.